Hello everybody and welcome back to Gillingham or Gillingham, depending how you say it, yeah. Either way. in Kent with Mr Kelly Harris. Hi. Um, we've got something very exciting here, very exciting indeed, and in this video we're not actually going to talk about it because we're going to talk about <laughs> Kelly and what you're going to be doing in the coming months. It's still exciting. Still exciting. Yes, it's no, too exciting. It, it, yeah, and, and potential <laughs> and everything. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, no, what, what is the master plan for Mr Kelly Harris? So, um, I'm going to go with Bombshell. Let's do it straight up. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to be working for Lake Country Manufacturing and LC Power Tools is the Director of Global Training, which you can imagine that title, Global Training, said earlier, it's quite serious. It's like all of Kent. Yeah. <laughs> and, <then that's> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and a little bit outside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and that, uh, under that umbrella, there's obviously many, many roles I'm going to be involved with. You know, from development, product development, but it is essentially teaching people, which we touched on the last subject mm -hmm. and last video of how to be more efficient, how to choose the right pad, how what compounds to use, and the techniques and methods and what orbits you might be using. You know, and trying to have help this journey. We spoke about a journey, didn't we? A journey down the road so that people have an idea of how to start. They pass their driving test. It's they need to understand how to use the machine. So. It's been probably yes nine months since I've w been working for Lake Country, but as a very small part-time role, which escalated very quickly into a full-time role. But we can actually go backwards. I've been testing the Lake Country products for quite a long time, mm -hmm. and it was actually a very or organic sort of meeting. And it's like sent me some products, tried their products for many many months. All my staff individually tried their products. I know, to try not to have any opinion on their findings, mm -hmm. and it was very unanimous decision that we all noticed this sort of common things. Or one pad might be more durable than the equivalent, or another one had gave us 10, 15 percent more cut than this one gave us less. So we had a different type of spectrum. Mm -hmm. We talked about earlier how products have progressed, and has it made it easier or harder? Depends how you look at it, how it's innovative. Um, so yeah, that's my journey. It's gonna organisations like yourself. Yeah, well I can't tell you how exciting this is and it's exciting in various different ways. So um, Kelly, obviously KDS Caltech has been the, your, your raison d'etre for so long that it's been very busy and you're saying how you know, you've got a gatekeeper so you, there's yeah. no telephone side. That's, it's, it's you couldn't much, get me yeah. you, because I'm running a business and dealing with a customer's cars. To be fair, I've got your home address, so I'm totally <laughs> sure. And but, but, you know what I mean. And, and the, yeah. the thing about this, there are two things that yeah. stand out to me. One is how excited Kelly is about it. Yeah. Normally, yeah. you know, when you're starting, it's not really a new job, but when you're, when you're developing in a career, people are like, oh, well, this is going to be kind of interesting. There is a glint yes. in the eyes yeah. here that you can see in the dark. And I think that enthusiasm and excitement, and it's for you, it's, it's getting back to doing what you really enjoy That's doing. That's the most important thing, is as we discussed, I've been teaching for a very long time, and it obviously has to be a, a it's a financial gain to my business. It's, yes. I can't do it for free. Whereas, I could talk all day long, as you can see, about this job, and I love to, and the feedback from training has always been positive, all the way through. So I've done many voluntary things at Wax Stop, on mm -hmm. stage and shows, and I like to be able to help people. The problem would be, it's a conflict, when it's actually also my business. Yeah. So when you've got companies and brands always asking me, to, would, would you do this YouTube video, would you do this, would you write this, would you help us with some documents? I'm like, well, what's actually happening here? You're taking away the potential from my own training, mm -hmm. my, what you come for. And it's, it's that principle as well as that the training, sorry to interrupt, yeah. but the training is what you, the knowledge that underpins the training and the experience of doing the training has been building up over years and years and that's an asset. So Almost not used, that's yeah. the problem. It yeah. hasn't ever been used. And even if, even if it was being, even, you know, if you're paying say a thousand pounds for it for, from a, from a yeah. company, it's mighty cheap the price and it's debasing yes. what you really want to be doing, which is the one-on-one -on -one or the, the small groups yes. and helping people develop. And the great news is that Lake Country have essentially enabled you Great news for you. Taken six months of trying to work out what and how we achieved this because yeah. obviously, as an example, I, I used to be on Detailing World a lot and I could easily write threads where actually step by step, really in detail, mm -hmm. help people how to do it. 
But again, why would I spend 30 to 60 hours writing a very in-depth thread, which is not bringing me more work, it probably means less people will want to come. Yeah. So I'm like, how do I do that? And then you've got companies like Lake Country actually wanted me to do that. And it's like, well, every time I'm discussing it, it's a conflict with my own business. But I had, they obviously really realized I've got a huge amount of knowledge to give. Mm -hmm. And I'm already established and already set up. So obviously, KDS is still going to carry on existing. Yes, it, yes, it, it has to, all, organically yeah. has to exist. I'm not shutting down KDS. And, and it's, we're still processing customers' cars, you know. As normal, but it's um, it's been tricky to try and work out a way where it works. So fundamentally, there's no conflict of interest that I can start explaining, teaching, recording what I know, how to do things and processes, and simplify the whole industry. So we're talking about a road, a destiny. Basically, Kelly has become a shareware. In a, in a yeah, way, but yeah. it's no longer proprietary, and because Lake Country have enabled that, the really good news for the likes of you and me is that suddenly we're able. You're going to get my knowledge. We, yeah, yeah. We, we can we can access Kelly. This this is this is going to go down a line that's a bit difficult. So we're going to stop talking about accessing Kelly, <laughs> but we can go in the back. No, um, <laughs> so it's going to be really really exciting. I that's think, why I've got the glint in my eye because finally I can now not worry about the charge per hour per day yeah. and the, who the pupil is and it's like it takes that pressure away we talked about the artisan craft and the business side yeah and the business side gets in the way of the craft side and the artisan side so having to take taking away the business side worry from me from teaching mm -hmm. and my everyday lo life means i can now go back to what i absolutely love which is teaching and helping people in this craft it's perfect. Yeah, right? yeah. So that's the exciting bit, and it's just lovely that Lake Country Manufacturing have somehow managed to see that. Remember, there's a big gap. Yeah. You know, I've only visited them twice, so that's a very difficult thing when you're not working with them every day. There's a very, very there's a large piece of water, stretch yes. of water in between. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Um, Medway. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm, it, that's my role now. We're gonna. To quote an American, you're pretty pumped. I actually said that the other day to one of the people at Lake Country. I said, sorry to sound American, <laughs> but I said, I'm really pumped and it's awesome. And I'm not that type of guy that says that, no. but it was when, it, when we finally struck the sort of right combination where it works, I remember driving home thinking, finally, I've been years and years where I have to worry and think about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and what's the cost it has to the business. A negative effect yeah so there's always a reason to sort of i couldn't go to detailing world and then say oh, or pbd and go yeah. i'd like to do a group training day because i'd give it for free if i could yeah because it's just i want to share my knowledge but i couldn't do that because it has to have a financial gain yeah and that's the thing is that and now that there are these uh, this machine which um we hear that uh, this machine is is perhaps a, a the start of, of something well, we as say? i said it says tools Tools, plural. S. So it's it's more than one tool. Um, I can't say any more. Well, than... hang on, hang on. Okay. Look, now it's two tools. <laughs> Stop it. It's cheap. It was cheap. And it was <laughs> so, so there might be something coming, and in, yes. in, and you might involve, be involved with the development yes. of that yes. and the conception of yes. it. So and that's even more exciting. Being an engineer from background knowledge as well, it's, it's very weird how the organicness of this has happened. So they didn't know that. They come to know my actual background is mechanical engineering. And, R&D engineering. So as they gradually found this out, it was like, this is really weird. Mm. And I didn't know, because when I, when I started testing the products, I'd never seen this. No. And actually, you probably knew more about it than I did. Well, because you said you I've been, been following, I've been following it. Yeah. This, this machine is something I've, I've yeah. been wanting for ages. And I'm just so glad that this has all happened. They also yeah. haven't done the CRB check, so we're, we're clear on that side of things. <laughs> um, but the other thing you'll notice, and we're doing in issue 11 of the Pro Detail magazine, we're doing a um, sh checkout shop, basically. And it's the actual name of the, the article is Show Us Your Shop, which I always forget, which is why I have to ask Ian, uh, who's hiding in the background pressing his buttons um, and fiddling with the cameras as well. Um, and uh, we're going to be doing it here. What you might notice is A, 
we're sweating, and we've already covered this in previous videos, but it's, it's, it's 32 and a half degrees still. 32 and a half degrees, we've been here about, um, well, literally six hours. Yep. Um, so it's all been a giggle, uh, and, and they're fat, so I sweat very easily. And it's sexy, isn't it? And um, you'll notice that many things have turned blue, and the colour scheme here has yep. changed. Yes. Give us a brief rundown of the modifications, what you've done here. I want to, I want to talk about things on the wall in a second. Okay, so shall I start with um, just the stuff that I have put in years ago, which has led to what now? So, yes. so obviously years ago, well, it's, as we to, it's 12, nearly 13 years ago, I walked into a completely empty building, mm -hmm. absolutely gutted, empty building. It had one vehicle ramp, hoist, lift, whatever you want to call it, which actually wasn't the right size and weight to do what I now knew, so it's, that's gone. So there was one lift in here, there wasn't any compressed air, you know, and there wasn't even electrics. And what was it before? Just a garage? It was a garage, yeah, yeah. but the, the landlord um, makes it so it's all stripped back, so the new tenant moves in, they have to put their own services in, including electricity. It's just a, a box. So that was, uh, I remember moving in, and it just looked at this huge open space, and how am I ever going to fill it up? Through <laughs> <laughs> the irony. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't generally feel what a waste of space. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I run out of space, and I fell off a mountain bike, mountain biking broke a, a bone in my body. I, I didn't meet me and have a day off. It happened to happen on the weekend and they said it'll heal on its own. So I was in a sling, walking around, I, right arm, so I couldn't do any physical work. I'm walking around downstairs, obviously, because we're upstairs currently, hence why it's hot. And um, I'm looking around upwards and all the staff are thinking, oh God, what's Kelly doing now? And it was a few days of me just He's looking around. Dreaming. Yeah, and I go to the, as you call me, gatekeeper, the front man, how much work are we turning away? How much do we lose because we're the waiting list? And it was like roughly 50%. So we need more space. Yeah. So I looked in possibly another premises and next door and it just didn't work. And I looked upstairs, used the opportunity where I had a broken arm to actually um, sit down and design the floor we're on now. So we've ended up now with two separate type of ramps for detailing downstairs, very different ramps for different purposes. One that can lift five and a half tons, one can lift three tons, one that's a scissor, one that's a two post ramp, which we get full height and half height. Then it's obviously we've got another ramp beside us that dual purpose actually lifts the vehicles up here. Which is super cool. Yeah, cool. So from it's a downstairs. process of coming in. Yeah, wash bay outside, you've got a nice set side wash bay outside. Yeah. It comes through and then there's a platform here, which it, it, it is the floor. So it yep. goes down, you'll see it on photos, we'll do some B roll for you. It's amazing. Yeah. And then from there, you back up effectively. Or so that ramp actually. can also be used as a working ramp. As I said, it's got the um, jacking bins. Yeah. So we can even lift and use that as a ramp, as a working ramp, take wheels off if we need to. You know. But of course, we've also got these two ramps here. We've got one there and one there, which we lifted up. And as I said, it's a geeky cool feature that that is in the air on top of a suspended, sorry, or a mezzanine floor mm -hmm. that hasn't got a post below holding its weight. Took a lot of calculations of working out. It's worth the tax saving. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems a better option than trying to relocate the whole business and find yes. a new place and everyone knows where we are. It's all, as we talked about now in business, I know mm. what to do and how to do it. So it's now established that we've got essentially five ramps. We've got two half height ramps, similarly, we've got a full height, we've got a two post and a four post. We've essentially almost got every type of ramp you can purchase. And then some work better with four by four, some don't. So that's a great setup. Obviously, I've got a spray booth downstairs. Um, about 2005, sorry, 2000, five years later, so 2012, 13, I put spray booth in because it was just made sense to. Clients were coming to me with paintwork. What background is that? So well, when you're striving for perfection with detailing, it has to be pointed out that sometimes you can't always polish. You, you, exactly. Sometimes you've either got to just sit and say, no, that needs to go to a paint shop. And then if it comes back from a paint shop, quite often there's even more work to do as a yep. consequence. So if the detailer and the paint shop are in the same place, there's nobody else to blame if it's no, not perfect. No, and, and, and of course, being next door to our wheel refurbishing company, it, it, it's it was obviously the I didn't move as well. It makes sense that you can bring your car here and pretty much we can cover all of it. Mm. Um, we become the one-stop shop, which also comes with its own difficulties. Yes. It is harder to manage and there's a lot of complexities. So then, obviously before even the spray booth went in and before I even put this floor in, um, I was teaching from 2012, so sort of four years in, I was teaching, which was downstairs. And of course it was right in the way of the foreign <laughs> line of cars driving in and out for yeah. the customers collecting. So. So you started taking payment before people arrived, just in case they did get killed. The <laughs> so what would happen would a constant disruption of 
clients walking in, and, and in the early days if I didn't have a front man, mm -hmm. I'd actually go and serve. It was really tricky, so I was like, I need to have my own area, my own zone. So that's where this area zone was then designed upstairs. So we had an area over here for very clean work and you paint protection film. And then I've got an area over here which was just set up for training. So I've got my own area. So all my cupboards up here are different to downstairs. Different, downstairs is more of a production line. Mm, that's a working environment. Yeah, this, this is, is more of a classroom. So I'd have possibly material, equipment, products in there that I have either used, and they might be very obscure or bespoke. And I've just filled those covers up with every pupil's question and request. So if they ask you a difficult question, you can whip it out in front of them. Yeah, if they and ask certain weird products, yeah. I've got that for them to test with. So I've just had to keep buying and buying equipment and products. Like I said, I've got 34 machine polishers now, different mm. polishers, because someone always wants to polish with the machine they've got. And yeah. I try and say, don't bring yours. I think if you're paying me, you should be using my machine and wear and tear. So. I've well, you probably get quite a deal at some point in these approach. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, because this is now the training school, we can imagine I've got as far as I possibly could, and it was almost like, what have I done? I've spent a crazy amount of investment. I mean, a huge amount of investment. I made this amazing mini super centre. Let's call it a mini super because it's we've got so many, so much diversity, and the skills are very wide ranging. But it's just all I can do is teach one person at a time or yeah. a fun group day. And you can do it efficiently. Yeah. And now it's, yeah, by, by what they country are bringing to the table, it means that I can streamline the services and concentrate more on all of what I've done in the past. That includes setting this business up, yeah. designing this floor. Would I do it again? I'd do it differently. Yes. So all this is all experience for detailers that we discussed that are up and coming, new. Yeah. Well, we've both learned business, our respective kind of business, so to speak, the same industry, different approach, in the hard way. We've yeah. all made mistakes, yeah. we've, we've all got regrets, we've all sort of learned our way through, but now that we are where we're at, we've kind of, I'm not going to say wisdom in my case, wisdom in your case, where um, you can, we, through education, through explaining things, we can help people stop making those same mistakes again and then progress better and quicker and, yeah. and, and do well. Yeah, I, you try not to make the mistakes I've made, basically yeah. what I said. And, it's, I've said, if I met myself 10 years ago, I'd be far further forward with progress yeah, because there's many things that I now realise was a silly decision. At the time, it seemed like the correct decision because I was looking at the trade back then very differently myself to what mm -hmm. I do now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, in summary, uh, we now have this shareware Kelly Harris, yes. which is going to be awesome. We have a bigger presence of Lake Country. Many people are already using the Lake Country pads and I haven't heard a bad thing said about them, which is quite something, because I'm a, a, a moving shake within detailer circles, and usually if there's something to moan about, or even if there's not, you'll hear moans. So that's I was surprised. I, I, yeah. As we said, most things come along, and you're probably really struggling to find differences yes. in products, certain products, and it was tangible, the amount of improvements there were, and by now being in the country and factory for many visits and talk to the people I get why mm. because they're literally taking their time because we had a discussion about how long things have taken yeah development yeah. on this has been how many years five five years yeah. for a machine and yeah. even their pads and the seriousness they take to it that they've changed the velcro and they've listened that some pads wear out normally the velcro can quite often wear out before the pad does on, yeah. on certain pads and I've had that experience and and now they've not they, their brand has other brands and now so the pad was left half life but the velcro doesn't stick anymore now, Lake Country have come along and listened to what other people's mistakes are. Yeah. And their Velcro, the sideline, is that it's brand new, it's very, very hard to get off, mm -hmm. but it lasts for a lot longer. So they change, they're looking into the Velcro design, just listening to detailers. Hence, they brought me on board and said, what machines would you like in the future? Yeah. That's kind of exciting <laughs> stuff. <isn't it? laughs> yeah. What, what would you like if you, if, you wanted, if you could get it made? What? And that was a call the other day. And then it clicked how serious it is. Yeah. But the responsibility. The, the, you know, it's serious. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. But hell, you're yeah. going to be one of the best qualified people to do it. Thank so you. it's, you're going to yeah. have to get used to Kelly. And, and to <laughs> us, the top brings out his eyes. It's a new colour scheme. <laughs> it works. I think it's worth doing. <laughs> yeah. We are going to do another video shortly. Yeah. And it is going to be on what I've been wanting to touch all day long. Um, <laughs> And we are going to talk about this machine. So catch up with us soon and uh, find out about the new UDOS. Bye.